economic hardship, particularly for children. They called for urgent action to address rising food, transportation and essential goods costs. They also urge parents to teach their children the fear of God for sources, as Prince Adeinka Ali, a former governorship candidate for the Action People's Party, advised children to focus on education for life sources. I know that uh, the way the Bible said that training a child in a way it should go, if you grow up, it will not deviate from it. That understanding takes me to the root that, okay, Kitty, we do not have so much of this happening in Kitty. And I want a Kitty of my own dream to be children of a kid that can compete with any other child everywhere in the world. So for me, this that we are doing is the same way it's been done all over the world too. So for me, a kid, the children are competing with the world with what we are doing in part. This Ali Adeyika Foundation. I want to appreciate God on his behalf. I want to appreciate him most sincerely for this type of program. We can see that even in our preparation, we only have menu for the children. I so much appreciate them for deeming it fit to do this kind of uh, thing for our children. You no, know, with the marriage of uh, problems confronting Nigeria, is our government is up to the task in ensuring that there is peace, there is uh, improvement in the economy of Nigeria. And with all the little ones that we have been seeing, there is hope for the future. And I, I, I'm, I'm optimistic that our administration, under the leadership of our president, will deliver. Now, the NOSA Men Club International, a non-government organization, has joined Nigerian children in celebrating 2024 Children's Day. The event, which took place in Silesia, Niger State, featured drews and cultural displays by schools. The event attracted a large crowd who enjoyed acrobatic marching skills as Northern Directorate of Nosmen and the Humanitarian Directorate of the organization aimed to extend their humanitarian services and support to schools and indigenous in Nigeria. It is not a new thing, it's something that we do annually. It's something not uh, just annually on Children's Day, but we'll do it in, it's taking place in all our branches of the world but today I decided to be here as international president with them and you can see the level of preparedness you can see the level of um, our humanitarian service that we, which we are carrying out today we all started as children today we are fathers we are mothers we are parents we all have children children are the future of tomorrow without the children we have no hope Without the children, there's no future for this nation. The children are important to us. Give the children the best. Every parent wish that the children become better than they are. And that is my wish. And that is my aspirations. And that is what DNKI believes in. Training the future. Training the future. And this is the future that we have today. Members also gave more insight into the monitoring activities of the organization. Our basic target is to reach out to humanity uh, that's why you see our theme service to humanity and uh, in the area of the children what we do as an organization worldwide is to provide scholarships provide uh, textbooks uh, it's important that we encourage our parents to send their children to school it's important that we also provide uh, an easy way for the students to learn so as an organization we try as much as possible all year round to provide amenities in schools in all our branches you know and we're talking about worldwide you know so we do the little that we can uh, you talked about government we urge government to try and make education accessible for all the north is classified as educationally disadvantaged and um, we domiciled in the north work in the north a lot of us were born in the north grew up bred in the north our parents still live in the north so we deemed it fit to give back to the society where we were bred the society where we were nurtured into responsible adulthood and that's why we chose the north to be the, uh, the flagship of this of the program for this year so this is what we do on a regular basis so it's not just a one-off it's going to be a continuous thing and the press will always be there to make sure that it is aired properly and uh, we keep to our word we keep to the convener and director northern license assured that uh, the events will be replicated across all the states chapters in the northern directorate
the organization is working assiduously to see that we eradicate the high level of illiteracy in the north. And as part of that, that's what we are doing. We have exercise books, we are giving physical cash to every school participating in these programs, and we have cultural activities. And by the grace of God, we'll take it to um, another part of the north. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.